Okay. Let's see what's going to happen here. Oh, I'm guessing. Hmm, that didn't do anything. Oh, I'm an idiot. Good, I still got those. So use that. Then we use that. Then we use that. Right, so I need to go to my paint program right so that one was off uh, this one I think was like that I didn't do anything. Okay. Arrow up. It's definitely a sun at the bottom. Uh oh. What did you do now, Lee? I think I turned it on. You see, Colonel? I told you taunt would be of some use to us. I knew I smelled a rat. All I smell, Herr Charles, is your fear. Don't move. My God, how beautiful! Congratulations, Dr. Jones. You've just handed the Third Reich its ultimate victory! It'll take more than a few orichalcum bombs to conquer the world, Uberman. Bombs? The gods don't need bombs. Take a look around. What do you think this astonishing machinery was used for? Um... Sexual power station? Wrong! As Plato himself well knew, this was a factory for manufacturing higher beings! While you've been wandering around, we've been stockpiling orichalcum. And now we have all we need! Are you ready for the greatest moment in history, Doctor? Um... Didn't you notice all those hideously deformed bones? Experiments gone awry, unworthy slaves sacrificed in the name of knowledge, progress has its price, you know. Um, Maybe they were all too human, like you. Subhuman, you mean? They were destroyed by their physical imperfections when they based in the awesome power of this device. Fortunately, we suffer from no such imperfection. Um... You're talking suicide, gentlemen. Scientific discoveries belong to the bold, Charles. That's something you, of all people, should understand. You really believe in this godhood business? Why not? As a god, I shall know everything, be everywhere, rule everyone! We both shall rule, Herr Doctor. Eh? Don't be silly, Colonel. You're not prepared for this. We shall see. Okay, so what am I gonna go with? Swell. Send me a postcard from Valhalla. One more step and you'll get there first. You can't leave now. 
We're just beginning our experiment. Don't let me stop you. And we can't begin without a guinea pig, can we? Now, if you'll kindly step onto the platform. No! What? If anyone's going to become a god, it must be me. You don't make me laugh. I am in charge of this operation, you spineless sausage. Activate the machine. <sighs> a test is a test. Plato suggested 10B. Let's try that. Wait. What now, Charles? You're making a big mistake, Kerner. How so? Um... Most of Plato's numbers were way off target. Hmm... Just a thought. You may be right. We should divide by ten. Try one B. One B it is! Himmel! It's working! I'd rather watch, but thanks for the offer. No, unless you want my men to move you. That's better. Uh oh. What makes you think you can outdo the old kings? My boy, we have it and say did it. Here goes. Hang on a second. Um. Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? How do you mean? Um. I think Plato and Kerner were both wrong. Charles, you decide. How many beads should we use? No beads, you crazy old man. Come now, Doctor. Where's your scientific curiosity? Uh, let's talk this over. There's no time. How many beads should we use? Who cares how many beads? It's all a myth. In that case, let's try Plato's suggestion. Eight, nine, ten beads! Oh dear. That's a bad end. Okay. So we've got to sit through all that again. Here's your shining city. Not what I expected, that's for sure. And the place is still humming, maintaining the air pressure for untold centuries. Okay. So I think save it just before activating the dial. So use this here. Use this here. Use this here. And we 
save. Use you. You're in the right place. You was there. You was there. Uh oh. What did you do now, Lee? I think I turned it on. You see, Colonel? I told you Torns would be of some use to us. Colonel, I knew I smelled a rat. All I smell, Herr Torns, is your fear. Don't move. Mein Gott, how beautiful! Congratulations, Dr. Jones. You've just handed the Sir Reich its ultimate victory. It'll take more than a few orichalcum bombs to conquer the world, Uberman. Bombs? The gods don't need bombs. Take a look around. What do you think this astonishing machinery was used for? Um, okay, let's save at this point that way I don't have to do that ever again well that's a mystery we'll never unravel wrong as Plato himself well knew this was a factory for manufacturing higher beings while you've been wandering around we've been stockpiling orichalcum and now we have all we need are you ready for the greatest moment in history doctor Okay. I'll pass, thanks. Scientific discoveries belong to the board, Chons. That's something you of all people should understand. Um... Didn't you notice how the skulls here have horns? Experiments gone awry, unworthy slaves sacrificed in the name of knowledge. Progress has its price, you know. Maybe they were all too human, like you. Subhuman, you mean? They were destroyed by their physical imperfections when they based in the awesome power of this device. Fortunately, we suffer from no such imperfection. You really believe in this godhood business? Why not? As a god, I shall know everything, be everywhere, rule everyone. We both shall rule here, Doctor. Eh? Don't be silly, Colonel. You're not prepared for this. We shall see. Okay, so... Tell you what, let's all go home and die in bed. We're scientists, we can't live. We must test the machine, and you'll make a fine volunteer. No! What? If anyone's going to become a god, it must be me. You don't make me laugh. I am in charge of this operation, you spineless sausage. Activate the machine. A test is a test. Plato suggested 10B. Let's try that. Wait. What now, Charles? Okay. Just ask your principal. Because I have decision to make. Oh, go ahead. You could use some self-improvement. You sound a little too happy about this. Tell me what's so amusing. Ten beads may give you size ten antlers. Hmm. Just a thought. You may be right. We should divide by ten. Try one bead. One bead it is. Okay. It's working! No! A small B 
speed for a small man, eh, Charles? Now it's your turn. And no thanks. God who for egomaniacs like you. Move! Unless you want my men to move you. That's better. Okay. What makes you think you can outdo the old kings? Science, my boy. We have it and say didn't. Here goes. Hang on a second. Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? How do you mean? You can't buy gun to it for a couple of beans. All right, Chord, you decide. How many beans should be used? Twenty beans. Let's double Plato's dose. Let's hope you've picked the correct amount. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty beads. Okay. Oh, go ahead. You could use some self-improvement. You sound a little too happy about this. Tell me what's so amusing. I think Plato prescribed an oracalcum overdose. Hmm. Just a thought. You may be right. We should divide by ten. Try one B. One B it is. Tenfold error. What about it? Um. Most of Plato's numbers were way off target. Hmm. Just a thought. You may be right. We should divide by ten. Try one B. One B it is. Your 
Okay. You need your account of needing a miracle. Nonsense! I'll stop this Plato's number. Ten beings should use a trick. Now position yourself. March schnell. That's better. Here goes. Hang on a second. Okay, so I think this is the definitive point. So, let's try this one. Let's talk this over. There's no time. How many beads should be used? No beads. Crazy old man. Come now, Doctor. Where's your scientific curiosity? Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? How do you mean? If I'm going, I want to go all the way. Okay. A hundred beads. Shoot the works. Let's hope you fit the correct amount. Ninety-eight. Ninety-nine. One hundred. Okay, that's not the route. Um. Let's talk this over. There's no time. How many beads should be used? No beads, you crazy old man. Come now, Doctor. Where's your scientific curiosity? Please, Professor, don't make me do this. Look on the right side. You'll be leaving your cares behind. You know, you'd make a much better god than me. Without saying, but there's no reason to turn up your nose at the chance to become one of the lesser immortals. Okay, let's get it over with. Is your mind composed? Anger and resentment may spoil your chances. Mm. Yes, I'm ready. Good, good. Let's not take chances. How does 20 beads sound? Whatever you say. Let's hope you've picked the correct amount. 18? Nope. Okay. Okay, let's get it over with. Is your mind composed? Anger and resentment may spoil your chances. Please, Professor, don't make me do this. Look on the bright side. You'll be leaving your cares behind. Please, Professor, I've got classes to teach. Stop whining, man. Let's not take chances. How does 20 beads sound? No beads, you crazy old man. Scientific curiosity. It's not too late. Let's call the whole thing off. Show some spine, man. How many beads should be used? No beads. Forget your stupid obsession. Really, Dr. Chorns, get a grip on yourself. get a chance if we leave now. Glory belongs to the fearless, Charles. Wait a minute, let's go. Stop finding, man. How many beads should be used? 
No bees. Let's get out of here. Not yet. Okay. You know, you'd make a much better god than me. That goes without saying, but there's no reason to turn up your nose at the chance to become one of the lesser immortals. Get the beads. Really, Doctor, you must cooperate. Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? How do you mean? Oh. Get my gun for a couple of beads. All right, George, you decide how many beads should be used. Will you stop with the bean talk? Really, Doctor, you must cooperate! Ooh. That looks interesting. For your sake, I hope this doesn't work. Why not? Okay. Once I'm a god, I'm sending you straight to hell. Offering you immortality. Is that the thanks I get? Um. You ever hear the term angry god? Wait till you see me. Hang on. Perhaps I haven't thought this through. You want to go far. You're scheming against me in spite of my generosity. You won't get the upper hand that way. Stand aside, Jones. Ninety-eight. Oh. Ninety-nine. One hundred B. Prepare to feel my wrath. You know, a lot of my discoveries seem like tall tales, even to me. At least there's some evidence this time. Then again, maybe not. What was that for? To ease the pain. And that. That was Indiana Jones, The Fate of Atlantis. A game that I've been trying to complete for about 30 years, just under. Oh, that was good. Frustrating. So ambitious. The fact it randomized stuff through the playthrough, that's so 
revolutionary and there's ignoring the randomness you've got three different paths to be able to complete it like I went for the duo option you can try and brute force or you can try and go solo it's dynamic in that way and it's a game that's going to have a very very short set of credits have a nice sense of feeling of accomplishment right now I know I used walkthrough for like the last bit that I didn't know but it was needed um, God knows how I'm going to edit this but that's irrelevant because if you're watching this on YouTube I've already edited it and sorted out all the headaches that ensue great game good Indiana Jones I'm probably biased because it's been on my backlog for so long and I got so close to completing it kind of the same deal with Monkey Island 2 I got so close to the end of that and then just threw that in because it got frustrating but yeah nice having voice work um, really glad this is done Solid game. Still got a smile on my face and the music just hits the right notes. Impressed with the job that they did on the voice cast. Um, again, you know, 30 year old, fully voiced. <sighs> so ahead of its time. I did think about doing more Indiana Jones games, but um, they kind of um, quality is all over the place. 